Hi guys, it's Scott Bryant, one half of Bryant and Associates, and today we are in South Tampa, and today we get to showcase the beautiful Pelican Mile. <music> Hi guys, again, this is Scott Bryant with Bryant & Associates powered by LPT Realty. And today we're in South Tampa here in Lithia, Florida in Hillsborough County. And today we get to feature a five bedroom, three bath, over 3,300 square foot monster beauty in the beast all combined in one. I want you guys to come in and take a tour, tell me what you think. This beautiful property has a little bit of everything. It's brand new construction built, can be built completely from the ground up and we have a few properties currently in the contract i want you guys to tell me your honest feedback so i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you have any questions give me a call today thank you and have a good day all right guys so here we are we are walking inside of that main foyer living area and immediately to the right hand side you're going to see a secondary bathroom Full bath, walk-in shower, standard size toilets. You have the option for granite quartz here with your, your cabinet. All right. And then now, so this is the first bedroom inside the first level. Tell me guys, what do you think? It's full size, I like it. It gives me a lot of room. It gives you a lot of space. Stage well, we're gonna take a look into the closets here shortly. Let's see. So as far as the actual closet, it's not bad, right? You have carpet here. You have plenty of lighting. If you have not bought new construction, normally you're not going to see a ceiling fan in any of the bedrooms, but more so you'll see them hardwired so that you can put a fan and some type of light of your own fixture at your convenience post-closing, okay? And as we transition, you will see here is the formal dining area. Now, this could also be an option to convert this into another bedroom if you would like. I love how it is stage with that fixture right there. It's just beautiful, right? But look at the space. Look at the ceiling height. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm nearly six foot. And this right here makes me look like a midget, right? So we're thinking maybe easily 10, 12 foot ceilings, okay? So this is not a small house by chance. Now look at this living room area. Look at that. We actually have to call this the grand room. So I'm gonna start here into the gourmet area, gourmet kitchen, cafe, right? So you're gonna see the stacked double ovens, the stainless steel appliances. All right, you got your little coffee cubby area. I'm gonna back up and let you guys take a look at that. Look at all of that cabinet space right there. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that nice? That is nice, right? And if we sneak back here, you know, it's a huge walk-in pantry, huge, all right? So for all my box lunch lovers, all my snack lovers, cereal lovers, look here, recipes for days, chips, water, you got it. Great place for a coat hanger right here. 
I could always see you can convert this area, maybe uh, some type of shoe rack. All right, off to the in the cut. But we're gonna take a look at beautiful, beautiful gourmet area. Take a look at this. Yeah, the range hood. Yeah, the gas gas setup. Look at that backsplash. Look at that backsplash. Isn't that nice? And how it just hits off of this. Look at that, that's nice. I love that. And again, the continuation and consistency of continued space. Look at all these doors. Now, this is not soft shut. I would like to assume, no, no, I'm sorry, my apologies, that is soft shut. One was not soft shut. Well, several. <laughs> But it looks nice, right? Here's your view from the kitchen. Are you cooking? You're serving up dishes. You're making company drinks, right? You're watching a game. This is your view from the kitchen into the living area. Off to the left hand side, you see a beautiful secondary dining area. So yes, you have one, but you also have another that is overlooking the covered lanai. And check out the view. This is our view today. Now, whenever my family gets weather like this here in Florida, we pull out the barbecue grill. This time the barbecue. All right. So we're going to take a step outside. Let you guys see the outside first. Mm -hmm. But this is nice. And you'll notice this back lot is huge. So this house that we're next door to, you can see where it ends, right? in the amount of backyard it has, but look at the amount of backyard we have with this house. So I'm assuming this is a good 25, 30 feet away from the home to where we would potentially end up. And look at that. Beautiful. All right? So just giving you an idea the backyard space whenever you build. And this lot, this has to be maybe a 40 or a 50 foot lot. This big of a house still does not need to be on a huge plottage, which is good, good for the building. And you can see that we easily still have, you know, 15 feet between neighbors, maybe 20, give or take. And before we completely transition out onto the secondary floor, Here's a cute little cubby area in the back. Now this could be a, an office. This could be just a kid's play area. It could just be something simple. I don't know, what all can we do here? And this is the AC unit, just for those that were wondering. But look at this. You have it staged up. All right. I like it. Are those quail eggs? Look at this, this is nice. But yeah, cute little area for the kids. They can entertain themselves, all right? And we're not even talking about the second story yet. So let's go upstairs and see what we got, all right? Let's go. Okay, now here we are, and this is the loft. This is a loft, guys. I'm talking real movie area real kumbaya area <laughs> this is a real sanctuary right or simple put hands down a, re a very good kids playroom area if you like to clean up behind kids all day every day immediately when you come up to the stairs you're greeting the, into the huge master ensuite. Look how far back 
the setback is until you can actually put your bed. You can put literally two of those beds right there, back to back, and still have room to cut across. So look at that. I love it. Beautiful view from the back, overlooking whatever you put your mind to. And you have your tub area. I love it. Look at that. Now this is tile. I love how it's the combo. You have the tub and the walk-in shower combination. Consistency, very consistent. We can maybe do a better shower head, of course. And you have your his and her vanities. I like it. What do you think about that? Now I'm saving the best for last because I walked inside. Oh, here's a here's a bathtub, bathroom right here. But the best for last is this huge walk-in closet. I'm gonna do one more walk-in, one push-in. This is, I'm trying my best to do a slow motion, guys. <laughs> oh man, I got, a, I got a buddy of mine, he does video. I try to emulate his videos all the time. He's a goat, I'm, 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 a, I'm a baby goat. But yeah, tell me what would you do with a walk-in closet this big? You definitely need something like this. You think this is for comfort? This is not for comfort. This is for stepping up, right? When you add those extra racks in there. My wife is definitely gonna need more racks than ours, but <laughs> I'm a shoe collector, right? So we're gonna walk out. We're gonna get one more quick view of that huge loft, all right? And then we're gonna go down and we're gonna check out the rest. So to the left hand side, we have another surprise for you, a huge laundry area. This laundry area is huge, all right? Already pre-wired, all right? For your plumbing, you're gonna put your little wash sink here. But yeah, huge, right? I'll turn around, give you guys a full 360. I see what they're doing here. Perfect place to put your, your dog bed, right? <laughs> Need to find a place to put put old put old Lucky, huh? Yeah, we have bedroom off to the side here. Pretty in pink. I love it. I love it. Not bad sides at all. Plenty of lighting. I would like to assume the lighting is an upgrade, which is an option. The builder right now at the moment has a promotion that they're giving up to $25,000 in incentives, which can be combined with closing costs, flex cash that can be used on your total purchase price of the home so they kind of give you control, all right? Secondary bathroom, it has the double sinks, which are oh so needed. Another full bathroom with the tub, all right? And toilet. Do we have a closet space here? Yep. We have linen. All right, adjacent from the first bedroom upstairs is the second. All right. All right. Has a bit of a deeper entry. Suspenseful, I like it. I would say it's the same size as the uh, Pretty in Pink bedroom. This is uh, Army Green, right? <laughs> Got more of a campfire 
theme, maybe a, a, a park ranger type of vibe or a camping vibe that it's giving me, All right? Give you guys some design ideas. It's very nice. So they have the drawer right here, which could easily have the TV. Instead of the TV, they have the mirror. This is uh, definitely a uh, queen size. Let's take a quick peek inside for your closet space. Decent size, decent size closet space. Not a full walk-in closet, but very decent size. All right, I like it. So I'm gonna pan here, give you guys some more ideas. That's what they're doing there. All right. And then the last bedroom here on the second floor. Rock climbing theme, I love it. Take a look at this. <laughs> just climb at the top that's what we're doing guys we are climbing okay but take a look at the room very spacious it's, it gives me the biggest room of the three right where did they get these from I like that that's so cool that's life right there, helping people. You've made it, reach back and help somebody. But, but just take a look at that, I like that. <laughs> the fear zone. Well, I'll be scared too. Where's the rope? <laughs> but no, the bedroom size is very good. You're able to fit a, your bed, which is apparently a queen size. This comforter here full-length chair, all right, lamps, dresser drawers, and all. Let's take a look at the closet. Closet space is consistent. Not many walk-in closets. The main bedroom, which is the master, has the walk-in closet, but other rooms has very decent sized closets, so I can't complain. I wouldn't complain. I love it. I like to see what you guys think. And we are out. So there we have it, guys. Again, I'm Scott Bryant with Bryant & Associates. And today we were touring the Pelican model, which is, again, five bedroom, three bath, over 3,300 square foot of living space. Uh, the secondary uh, floor is nothing short of amazing. You have the master. Uh, with a huge, beautiful walk-in closet with the combination uh, shower with the tub. And all the bedrooms have great, great space. Uh, not walk-in closets, but very nice, very, very modest what you're seeing right in here. Huge loft that can be kids area. It could be a converted office for you. So tell me below in the comments, what do you think? Again, we're in Lithia, Florida, which is South Tampa. So if you guys have any questions, if you're, if you're relocating and you're looking for a place to call home, uh, we have plenty of opportunities here. Very quiet, very beautiful, luxury filled community, master plan community, has a clubhouse, has a pool, has a many walking trails, sidewalks, so you will love it. All right, again, Scott Bryant, Bryant Associates. Thank you for tuning in, taking out. Have a good day.